Jim Murray, the family of 19 year old Kyra Magby spoke to us clutching a photo of her. She just graduated from high school last year. They have no idea who did this or why. They took my baby away from me. Over something real senseless. It was senseless. It was just too much. Erica Price just lost her 19 year old daughter, Kyra Magby. It's our babies. It's our babies that we are losing. Magby played varsity basketball at Englewood STEM before she graduated in 2023. Her family now clutches her team photo, wishing she could be there with them instead. She was carrying. She did not deserve this at all. Sister, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. And I love you. We love you so much, baby. And I'm sorry I wasn't. Police tell us Magby was driving this Chevy Malibu when she was shot in the back just after 11 p.m. on Halstead near West Garfield Boulevard. They believe a silver SUV approached and someone inside opened fire. You can see what appear to be bullet holes in the windshield of her car. She lost control of the vehicle, crashing into another car, was not alone when she was shot. We're told another 19-year-old was in the car with her. She sustained... Oh, so there was two girls in the car. And some fools came by and opened fire on two girls. Was they talking slick on social media? Whatever they was doing, this was an overreaction, man. <laughs> this was an overreaction, man, to whatever they was doing. And then, of course, collateral damage. They hit another car. You're driving down the street, you hear gunshots, and then some car comes careening into you. Sun men are a reign of terror, man. All of the vehicle crashing into another car was not alone when she was shot. We're told another 19-year-old was in the car with her. She sustained cuts to her face and was taken to the hospital in serious but stable condition. I'm just trying to let the detective do their job and just bring justice to my sister because she deserved it. Detectives combed for evidence, took the surveillance video, we're told, from the liquor store next to where the crash happened. The driver and the passenger of the other car in this crash suffered minor injuries but were otherwise okay. Kyra's family is hoping they will get through their immense pain together. Family that prays together stays together and we're gonna, one step at a time, we're gonna get through this. She said she's going to let the detectives do their job. She's going to let the detectives do their job. Does that mean that she's not going to give them no assistance? I'm confused by that, man, because sometimes when some people say that, that means they're not going to give the detectives any assistance, man. I'm hoping that this family gives the detective some assistance for finding this person. They know something. But stable condition. I'm just trying to let the detective do their job and just bring justice. Mm. Respect. You y'all need to be like Candace Owens because y'all ain't in this world like seriously you're the, literally the reason for the downfall of the black community that's a fact you guys are the reason you dumb bitches want to raise these black men and then holler at the black men when they do you dirty and leave you you dumb bitches raise these men you raise them the only good thing that you black bitches do is give birth to black men that's it and then all y'all want to holler all the time. Every time women of any other race do anything, we want to be black. Bitch, why the fuck would we want to be black? You don't even want to be black. <laughs> really? No. If I could come back and, and be black, I'd be a black man, not a black woman. Get the out of here. Why the fuck would I want to be a black bitch for? You all are the most bitter, racist, crusty ass bitches I ever seen in my life. The only time you see black women actually be classy Please, them days is over. Them, them Claire Huxtables, they, they don't exist anymore. There might be a little handful of women that like that still left, but the rest of you want to be like,
Suki Hana and Sexy Red. And you're nasty. Go wash your hair. Go change your sheets and go take care of your ass baby. You the mad one, bitch, and you're going to stay mad for the rest of your life. Me, I'm good. I'm straight. <laughs> Been that way from day one. Yeah, stay jealous. With millions watching. So, let me guess. They're going to get her fired. So, so we got to get her fired, right? So, she got to lose her job. Let me guess. Man, hit the like button, man. Let's get 250 likes. Take the $5 challenge, man. Y'all boycotting the show? You want me to boycott the show? Are we going to have a boycott off, man? Tell me if we're going to have a boycott off, man. Because I'm going to win. Hit the like button, man. We should have a salute to um, Pamela Henderson. So we got to, this, this lady got to get fired, right? Let me guess. To the show. I'm breathing in and out. I'm going to do the best I can. It's a time like this. I wish I could channel the senator's grandmother. I really wish I could channel that wisdom right now. Said a lot. According to Taylor Ayana, black Chicago hairstylist, the Karen Loctician, Jamie Marie Smallwood of Florida was going off about black women when Taylor said white people and or Europeans didn't know how to wash themselves properly until the Moors taught them. This was in response to Smallwood saying black women were dirty, not washing their hair as much as white women. After more racially vicious language via messenger and voice. Now, I will say this, man. Black women can't wash their hair too much because it'll get nappy, man. <laughs> it'll go back to its natural state when it gets wet. So black women don't, if they're, they're trying to keep their hair straight. When, they, when, they, when, when water touches it, it goes back to its natural kinky coily state. So yeah, they don't wash their hair that much for that. Um, that 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 might not be uh, a hygiene issue. That's just the um, I hate my nigga naps issue. Nor Europeans didn't know how to wash themselves properly until the Moors taught them. This was in response to Smallwood saying black women were dirty, not washing their hair. So the black woman said Europeans didn't know how to wash themselves until the Moors taught them. She don't need to lose her job for that. But the white woman need to lose her job for what she said back. I hope you white people is taking notes, man. I hope you white people is taking notes out here, man. I hope you white people is taking notes. One thing I will say about Caitlin Clark Caitlin Clark has woken a lot of white people up, press one. Caitlin Clark in the discourse and everything around her was it has been a great social experiment and it's woken a lot of white people up. A lot of white people are like, whoa. They didn't know. They didn't know how bad it was. They didn't know, like, damn, I can't even play basketball. They're like this everywhere. And plus, Caitlin Clark is such a huge star. She's not like Taylor Swift, where Taylor Swift doesn't have to deal with a Negro. Taylor Swift don't have to deal with no Negroes, man. Any black girl that's around Taylor Swift is a friend, a little, you know, black friend or something. Somebody that just want to be in her orbit. Caitlyn is around black women that despise her. 
and everyone gets to see the hatred. And then you got to realize that if you say something about black people, you're getting fired. Salute to um, Lauren Cressap. He says, there is no solution for some women. Yeah. You're getting fired if you say something back. And they're going to gaslight you, too. The gaslighting of Caitlin Clark is amazing. The way they're gaslighting her, us about her. Oh, nobody's doing anything to her. Hair as much as white women. After more racially vicious language via messenger and voice messages, Smallwood would eventually block Taylor, as many online would also step up to out Smallwood's rampant Karenicity. I'm disgusted. I want to put like some garlic or something around my neck, whatever I can to protect. Kryptonite something. Mother of Smallwood's husband even contacted Taylor via TikTok to say she no longer spoke with her son because of Smallwood. Mother wanted to apologize, however, for the vitriol and stated she didn't raise her son that way. The mother would even note the 48-year-old Karen was 18 years older than her 30-year-old son with kids his age. I try not to get in other people's business. You should probably not lash out at others when we're not sure about the stuff in your backyard, your kitchen, your purse. <laughs> Taylor would go on to share almost several years worth of reviews from Smallwood's Facebook business pages that repeated how she was a bad mannered, ignorant racist who liked black money, but not black people or breastfeeding mothers. Just look at it. Many reviews would point out horrible styling skills, a desire to be black, but was fine with black Americans being shot by racist cops and even allegedly using the N word. Was fine with African Americans being shot by racist cops. Black people were so childish and Stupid. Fuck cares about some shit like that in Chicago. This is Chicago, you moron. You got like 800 black men that get murdered in the street every year. And you talk about she don't care about black men getting shot by cops. Shut your... A lot of black people deserve to be slapped upside their fucking heads, man. A lot of black people deserve to get slapped upside the head. Pow! For being embarrassing. Who gives the hell if that woman cares about some damn nigga that got shot by a cop? Why is that the why is that the first thing that y'all determine makes a person a good person? Like you could like you're a good person if you care about niggas getting shot by cops. You, you down with us, man. You down with us, yo. You care about niggas getting shot by cops? Yeah, okay, you cool, you cool, you cool. What the fuck? I'm going to play her rant again. Man. All this other shit is bullshit. Oh, they got this woman on. Let me hear this woman. This big bobblehead woman right here. Let's see what she got to say. Others saying, what do we make of this? Yeah, the Wolf Fox, Minister Malcolm X, and Grandma more nerd than the brass A monkey. Sharon, I'm telling you, I'm trying to keep it PG. I'm trying to keep it together. I just want to say. What the hell did she just say? Niggas don't even talk like this in real life. Niggas don't talk like this. What did she say? Your grandmother's saying, what do we make of this? Yeah, the Wolf Fox, Minister Malcolm X, and Grandma more nerd than the brass A monkey. Sharon, I'm telling you, 
I'm trying to keep it PG. I'm trying to keep it together. I just want to say to folks, it's just because somebody goes on a rant and they say that is a fact or these are the facts behind that rant does not make it the facts. She's the one that is jealous, obviously jealous of, of black women. And you know what? I understand. I do. Yeah. A woman who makes a living frying and dyeing black women's hair and straightening black women's hair is jealous of them. A white woman whose hair is straight rolling out of the bed, who makes a living frying, dying, and straightening black women's hair, is jealous of Because mitochondrial DNA, mitochondrial Eve, let me just go and break this down for folks like her who don't understand that genetically all life and i mean all life originated on the continent of africa all right it's okay true. first of all that's not true and second of all how is that an accomplishment how is that an accomplishment Let's just pretend that was true. That's not true. That's the out of Africa theory from the 1960s. That has been thoroughly debunked a thousand times over since then. But scientists are too scared to, not scientists, but the mainstream media is too scared to like publicize it. That out of Africa theory is, 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 is literally the most outdated thing, man. They found bones older than that in so many places. They got so many ways to test the age of bones that they that weren't around in the 40s and the 50s. Science and technology has come so far in the last 80 years since they found them bones in Africa to where they can test things down to the year. They can test things even, they can even be more accurate. They found more stuff. That out of Africa theory is, that's not true. Human DNA has not been traced, but Henrietta Lacks, was a goddamn mulatto who gave you some cells or some shit to you. They use some of her cells to basically do medicine, but uh, come on, man. Just think about it. Just think about it. Don't even get in the weeds with them. Don't even get in the weeds with them, man. Don't get in the weeds with them, man. Eve. Let me just go and break this down for folks like her who don't understand that genetically all life, and I mean all life, originated on the continent of Africa. All right, it's okay, true. Lucy, and she was named that because when they were digging up this, the, the, the artifacts, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, I think by the Beatles, was playing at the time, and that's why they named her Lucy. But I want this chick, because that's what she is, the ultimate Karen, to do a little study and a little history. When you say you hate black women, you really hate your mama. Mm. Because we are, baby, not just because I'm saying it, the Ooh. science backs it up. We are the prototype. That's number one. Number two. You know, proto human. Black America, please. There are plenty of locticians who respect you Ooh. and who you are and what you are in the world that you can go to. You need to put this chick out of business. And I don't usually say nothing like that, Sharon, <laughs> but she took this too far. Yep. And to the black man, the young black man that is with this chick, you need to look in the mirror and reassess yourself. Now, I try not to get in folks' business, but now you done brought, brought us into your business. Sharon and I got to jump in your business. Yeah. This woman is talking about your mama. 
And anybody, and I don't care who they are, what walk of life, how they roll, how they identify, if they disrespect your mama, then they don't deserve your love. It's something wrong with her, Sharon. She a hater and she is jealous and she is an anti-black bigot. Mm-hmm. Got me shaking mm-hmm. my neck now because I got to put some mm-hmm. emphasis on this thing. Yes. And she Queen. needs to be put out of business. But I do want this care, this very special Karen to understand that truly black women are your mama too. That's right. Mitochondrial you're, DNA. You're a virus. The Senate gave you the science.